I'm chill. I'm not going to, or do you do the Tony Ramos stare down? I mean, it's kind of, <laughs> you never really know what's going through the athletes through that march. But we are underway here in the first bronze medal match in 60 kilos of women's freestyle wrestling. Well, that is the beauty of it. Every athlete is different, and they all produce their own style. Your personality comes out when you fight your way. In this case, for a bronze here. Lysik in red, Omolchenko, of course, in blue. But who's going home with the bronze here? Omolchenko taking that centre of the match, trying to dominate. She looks slightly heavier set in terms of strength than Lysik. Well, there you can see it, just bullying her to the mat there. Obviously not allowed to grab the hair, though, Jason. Yeah, that would be a caution in two. That, that's uh, that's know, a two-point. That's Any caution in terms of a penalty would be two points, which is uh, a clarification or rule change. Greco-Roman cautions for two points. Now we're seeing that over in freestyle. Interestingly enough here with Lezak, though, uh, young wrestler, not a whole lot of information on her in the FILA, uh, excuse me, the, well, the United Formerly World Wrestling, FILA, yeah. yeah, the UWW database, but I got I to gotta assume here, based on my deductive reasoning and math skills, that she's still of junior age because she won the Cadet World Championships in 2015 and is junior eligible. I believe she wrestled the, cadet, uh, the Junior Worlds last year as the first time through. So I believe she's probably 19 years old. Well, her opponent, 23, has had a really good season, European bronze medalist in 2016 as she transferred from Ukraine to Azerbaijan. So another situation where we've got Ukraine uh, past and Ukraine present. We had that last night. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of movement around and movement on the mat here. A big throw there. Lysek, well, she had the shot clock against her, but did she get any exposure from that one? The referee stopped for the takedown, so it is a simple two. Good response from Lysek to the pressure put on by Omolchenko. Yeah, Ukraine's coaches want four there, so that's a case of where we see the correct throw because the referee deemed that there wasn't any exposure taking them to their feet to their back, so they're just going to give two for the throw because it didn't look like she came around for control of the takedown. And to clarify exposure, do you mean to the back, to the shoulders? What's that uh, 90 actually? Degrees, 90, 90 degrees. degrees. So if your back, any part of your back is, is more than 90 degrees uh, to the mat, that is back exposure, and that will be two points. So that's the reason it was two instead of four, but still a handy little lead here for Lysak. Not insurmountable as we get into the last minute of this one here. Omolchenko had the aggressive start. Looked to have the power as she shoots for both legs there. But straight back up to her feet, Lysak. Well, she's in condition for this one. Yeah, good defense there with that stop and that big power double now trying to step around. And getting behind, got to be careful, giving up the one. Could Very have been worse, good. though. Could, Could have, been have been worse. worse because if you're, you're, you're rear standing, the five is back in freestyle wrestling. I mean, yeah. that could be su Suplex City before you know it. Suplex City, liking it. Yes, that is a, yeah, you know who referenced. Yeah. A high five for that. Well, the last 15 seconds here, what can Omolchenko produce? She's put a lot of physical effort into this one. But just at this stage, the clock ticks down, and the Aziri will have to go back to her coach and try and figure out what to do here. A slender margin, just a point, but that could prove pivotal for Lysak. She started well here, Jason. Yeah, she did, that big throw. She went for, went for the had the gusto to go for it early. Did get two out of it. Probably could have gotten four. I mean, and in the situation there with the rules where she gets four is you've got to land uh, from your feet to your back in, in that danger position where you land in danger. Now, here's a good shot of it again. She shows the arm throw, went to her head. Ooh, that, you know, really close. It's not far from 90. That was uh, 91. <laughs> my geometry is better than my, my, my basic math. So. so that is an instance, of, and folks were wondering about correct throw. That is an instance of a correct throw. Well, angles aside, correct throw. Not given, so just the two, a couple of slaps there and a little bit of hair pulling as well. It's all going a little bit tousled from Omolchenko. The referee happy to let things flow, though. But Lysik, well, she stays very low, presents that small target. That's tough on the legs to sustain that. The much more tall and erect Omolchenko. Standing passively at the moment. This one for the bronze, not going to plan at the moment for Azerbaijan. Tetiana Omolchenko running out of ideas and running out of time here. Although, John, you don't really need a whole lot of time from what we saw last night with true. some of these finishes in the last five and ten seconds. Very true. 
know, there's, there's, there's time on the clock, there's time to wrestle. Well, you could hear clearly the referee thinking what we're thinking. Omolchenko needs to get on with it here, put a bit of pressure. See, that's where I'm, I'm uh, you know, sometimes as a wrestling fan, I get confused with what the referees are looking for in some situations. Warn for passivity, but the wrestler, the blue wrestler, there is hunting for the was yeah. controlling the center of the mat. I agree. So, you know, she's not circling toward the edge. Now pushing the action toward the edge, got to look for that push out. And wow, that was a breakdown in mat awareness right there. You're toward the edge, you're the one that pushed him to the edge, and you just allow a really cheap, just, it was a simple, turn your opponent around and shove. That could be crucial down the line. She had the point ready to tie the match. Now she's down by two. Got to know where you're at. Got to know where you're at. Yep, that body awareness letting down Omolchenko. A school mistake there. Well, she was pushed out. Lysak pushing herself a little bit further ahead here, trying to defend that leg. Does well again. She showed great strength here, Lysak, and that awareness that you spoke of, Jason, so crucial. Concentration as well as understanding where you are. Yeah. It's that that just that situation just baffles me. She did everything she could to fight towards the edge. She's doing it now again. Now trying to go back with that little arm throw. Can now she get behind. The Does she give up the two yet? And there's the two on the takedown. And she will now take the lead with criteria because she has a two-point action, whereas Lysak has three one-point actions. Well, Excuse Lysak, me, scratch that. No, no I'm a, wrong, I'm yep, wrong. It's two and a score. one. Yep. Last to score. Sorry about that, folks. I got confused about where I was. I'm a Just like Omolchenko. Yeah. Omolchenko got confused, but she isn't confused now because she's got 20 seconds now to hang on in there. Lysak putting the pressure on here, trying to get a hold for the gut wrench here, the push-out point oh. minimum. Counter. They go four, what do we go? Four or two? What's coming down for the match chairman Well, here? there was a four held up and a video replay, so I think we've got 7-3 on the scoreboard. Four and we're going confirmed. to see, yep, four confirmed by the match chairman and judges, so I think we're going to see a video replay. What do you imagine or surmise that this is for, Jason? I think they're looking for correct throw. I think this is more of a desperation when we be like, no, we started that move. That should be ours. They, you know, I... You know, sometimes it's that YOLO one, or they're looking for the push out first, but uh, that's the question. Where is the action? Where's the feet? Well, last chance saloon here. Tense times for the coach oh, and wrestlers. Oh, oh, oh. And the action can continue in the zone, which is the, uh, the the orange circle at the outer edge of the mat. And so they have awarded uh, the call on the mat. Will be two and then one additional point for the lost challenge. So now 8-3 is your score in favor of Omolchenko. Well, it didn't look like being a five-point game for Azerbaijan's Tatiana Omolchenko. She was up against it by Lasek all the way through, but that little slip in concentration as the clock ticks down, it's all over. Lasek, a credit-worthy effort. Tatiana Omolchenko, well, when she needed to, she managed to find the telling score. The bronze medalist in the women's under 60 kilogram grouping. Trailed this match with a minute and a half to go, and then all of a sudden, uh, yeah. Well, it's precisely what you mentioned. If there's time on the clock, there's room to wrestle. I, I can't really take credit for coming up with that one. That was uh, that was Damian Hahn, University of Minnesota, who came up with that one. But I'll give you credit for giving credit. And credit goes there to Omolchenko. This is how she managed to produce it.